Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a color bleed effect in Canva. Also, a way to make it look like watercolor behind an image. So the first thing we're gonna need is an image. So you can upload one or you can grab one from Canva. I am just gonna grab this football player here. And the first thing you wanna do is remove the background. If you have the free version, you can do that in an app or go to remove BG to remove the background. But once you have the background move, you want to duplicate this two more times. You can do more once you figure out what we're going to do here if you want to add more stuff, but we're just going to do the three. So I'm going to put one dude to the side. Then I'm going to go over to apps. I'm going to look for slice. I'm going to go into slice. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to go into minced. Now you're going to see how he's mincing up right here. You can turn it as count how mincy you want it to be and how out you want it to be. So we want, to, want it to be the second one. The back one you want to kind of go very far. And so you want to turn them all the way up. So I'm going to save that one. And then I'm going to go into this one right here and put it in immense and then kind of go down a little bit and bring that in closer like so. And then I'm going to save that one. Now what I want to do is this is going to be my very back one. So if you want to go into position tab, make sure this is the back one. Your very farthest out one is going to be your one that you want at the bottom. Then you want this one in the middle. So make sure that's in the middle. And then you want your solid one on top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my very back one. I'm going to go into edit, go into blur. I'm going to do the whole image. And I'm blurred about to 50%. Now you can go higher, lower. It just really depends on the effect you want to. You can go like all the way up to blur. I'm going to go into like the 50 range. And then I'm going to go back. Then I'm going to take the other one that should be the middle position. I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into blur. And I'm going to blur that one about in between 40 and 50. And you can change how much blur you want compared to what you want to do. So what now I'm going to do is layer these three on top of each other. Like so. Like so. And that's going to give him that, that color bleed effect on him. Now, if you saw one of my earlier ones, we'll go here. We'll go up into my uploads. Let me see which one that one is. Which is this one, I do believe, here. So it looks like he's kind of disintegrating. What I did with that one is I took that very back one. I'm going to go in the position where it's all the way out. I'm going to duplicate that. And I kind of put that on him on the top. I went into edit, adjust. I'm going to take that sharpness up, sharpness up on that. And then I'm going to take the transparency down on that one. So now it looks like he's kind of bleeding on top too. So that gives that overall bleed effect right there on that. And then I can group all these together. And now I have my image. And then you can go ahead and add what kind of background you want to do for that for your bleed out. So if you want to go up in elements and add, let's see what I've added before, like a stadium or something. Let's put that in, set image as background. And then you've got that bleed in effect that's on there. Now the other thing you can do is let me go into my uploads over here. And as you can see, I was playing with the witch. Um, so let's go get one of my old like sticker people. I just wanted something that had some kind of color to it. So we got to dig deep y'all dig deep on all these uploads. All right, let's see sticker sticker girl. We use her. So let's, let's, use the miss vampire here and do her with it so what i want to do with her same thing remove the background and then i'm going to do the same thing with her i'm going to go into i'm going to go over to my apps go into slice let me go to top two copies one two and three i'm going to grab one i'm going to mince i'm going to go all the way up i'm going to save that one I'm going to mince this one and go a little bit down. So now what we're going to do is kind of do a watercolor with her. So I'm going to go down with that and then I'm going to save that one. 
go into position. We know this one would be our middle one. And this one should be our very back one. So I'm going to grab this one. And then her whole face should be on top. So now I can go and I can go here. Position. I want to grab it. Position. Then I'm going to go arrange and I'm going to middle center. So they're lined up. And then I'm going to go back to layers and I'm going to grab this last one. I'm going to edit. I'm going to throw some blur on it. Let's go up. Then I'm going to go into position. I'm going to grab that second one. Do the same thing. Go grab some blur. Blur that up some. So I'm trying to make this look like a watercolor background. So I want it kind of more blurry because I want rounded edges to make it look like splashes. So now I got two of these. So what I want to do now, go back into position, grab this one. I can go into Duotone. So I'm going to go into Duotone, and let's see, we got something red. Oh, let's do purple. Purple. And of course, you can go into Custom and change to the colors you want to. And then I'll go back into position and grab another one. And go into, um, go back into Duotone. And let's do orange. So we can do something like that. And then you got that. But if you do something small like this, be aware that as you as you see, if you want it to go further out into the page and stretch out more, you're going to have to do a little trick. So the trick is, once you got this, what I did, I'm going to gra grab my background removed image and put it in a bigger, bigger thing. So, or you can just do this and you can reduce her down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to file, download. I'm doing this and I do MP4s just because I want a bigger place to work on to show y'all. And then I'm going to do my current page. And I'm going to download this. So now when I bring it back in, see all that extra space I have in my purple to work with? So now if I duplicate this, Hold on, let's remove the background first. Remove the background. And then I go and mince her. I'm going to go big and go big. Save. Oh, it did not not remove the background, did it? I think I need another one of her, don't I? That's okay. I already got that bigger one. Hold on, y'all. I'm lo losing myself here. Okay. Uploads. Go back to the top. All right. So remove the background. All right. So we got her now. We got her that way. And then I'm going to do duplicate that. And then go back into slice. Mints. Do a halfway one save then we're going to go in here and do no we're not doing do a tone yet we're going to do blur blur position edit blur and then we're going to make sure we got it lined up the way we want to she's on top and then what you can do now is go back and grab whatever and go into edit. I'm going to do tone, change her colors. we we'll do orange, position, grab this one, edit, and what color? Do we have a good purple? Purple. So now you can see there's no cutoff like it was before because you only had this much space to work in. And of course, that's going to cut it off and have that hard edge. Now it doesn't have that hard edge. And if you wanted to do something crazy, you can pull it out like so around her and kind of make her like that. And you can kind of make that watercolor, water splash kind of effect behind her. And you can just go ahead if you wanted to and duplicate another one. And let's like say we'll do peppermint in there and move it around and position and you can just add all kinds of colors and give it that like 
watercolor effect, but it actually kind of goes in with her. You can see the curve. You can see here. You can see here. You can see the edge of her. So it's actually kind of in the shape of her. So that's just another thing you can do with this. But it's a real simple, simple process to do that. And as you can see by the ones I did earlier, you can do all kinds of stuff and make it look kind of cool. Let's go to my uploads real quick and we'll see. Um, I did her and it put her on the background like so. And as you can see, that was the original. And I took that and kind of made her have that, that glow, that multicolor glow behind her. And with the football player, of course, that's just on a white background where you can see where it just looks like he's his colors are bleeding off behind him or colored smoke maybe um, behind him. And of course, the one that I did with the over to the top that looks kind of like he's disintegrating here. And then, of course, I did this one right here where it's just like a color splat behind him as he's throwing. And those are just some things you can do with this. And that's all I have for you today. I love you guys. I'm glad you stopped by. Feel free to subscribe, like, and leave comments. And if you have anything you want me to try out, I love learning new stuff. So leave that stuff in the comments. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye, y'all.